like when you were growing up, you know, when you were either in elementary school or in high school, did you ever play that game with your friends called Rock, Paper, Scissors or Scissors, Paper, Rock? When I was growing up in primary school, I used to play this game a lot with my friends out in the, out in the schoolyard, you know, we used to play, we used to call it Scissors, Paper, Rock uh, in Australia, you know, in the, um, you know, growing up in, in when I was attending primary school in, in Australia. And we used to, we, I used to love playing this game because, you know, it's always, you know, you, you could never predict what, what the other person would do. It's kind of like a bit like, a bit like gambling. You, you, you can't really predict what, what's going to happen with, with, but in this case, it's going to be against uh, the, 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 the other player. So I thought in this video today, I'll show you guys how to implement the famous schoolyard game, Scissors, Paper, Rock, in C++. Now the thing with the implement, implementing this game in C++ is that we need to understand uh, the rules of you know, rock, paper, scissors. So if we have two rocks, it's a tie. If we have a rock and a paper, uh, obviously the paper person is going to win. And if we have a rock and a scissors, the rock is going to win. So we also obviously need to implement that in our, in our decision statements in our C++ uh, program today. So the main thing that I'll be thinking when, when we're implementing uh, Scissors Paper Rock in C++ is that there's going to be a fair few uh, de de decision points uh, here. And what we need, so we need to do is that we also need to implement a user input you know, for, for the user when they're playing, playing against the computer. And we also need to implement a, a, a random generator for, for the computer uh, to either generate rock, paper or scissors for the computer. But for the player, they, they're going to input uh, what, what, they, what they want to go as. So let's get into the implementation of implementing rock, paper, scissors in C++. Alright, so here we are inside uh, the, uh, the source code for the uh, rock, paper, scissors game. So the first thing that we need to do is obviously we need to have our header files uh, so we can print out on the, on the screen. So we've got the IO stream header file, of course, and then we've got uh, we've got the C time uh, include as well. So this is required for the random for the random number generation uh, in the game. And then we're obviously we're obviously using um, we've also got uh, using namespace std. I know this, I know this is bad practice. I know some guys are going to say. Uh, this is bad practice. You shouldn't be calling. You, should, you shouldn't be calling the entire library. I understand that, but this, this, I, I just put this, 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 get, this game together really quickly. So I do apologize uh, uh, for that. So now we've got our, we've got our int main function. So we've, so now we've got, so now we're starting to seed for our random number generation, and then we've got two variables here, which is, which is the, which is our, which is the user choice and the computer choice. Uh, so this is what's going to allow us to 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 for, so for the user choice variable that's what's going to, going to allow us to input which number which uh, which uh, decision we want in the game to, 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 to use either rock paper or scissors and then we've also got a a, a char variable here uh, this is just after the game is finished we we, we just want to ask the user whether they want to play again or not and they can input either yes or no by either type, typing in a, a simple uh, Y or, or N uh, character. So then we've got our do loop here. So this is so this is what's going to keep keep the game running and running and running until the user quits. And then we've got our welcome screen. So we've got welcome to rock paper scissors. And then we've got uh, the user is going to be going to be able to uh, make a, to make a decision by entering a choice. So that it's either one for rock, two for paper, or three for scissors. And then the user on line number twenty one is going to input their choice. And then, with, and then on line number 24, what's going to happen is that uh, the computer is going to generate a random number, and then it, the, the computer is also going to um, get, you know, you know, get 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 their value. What 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 it, you know what what has it generated uh, on the, on the computer? Either rock, scissors, or paper. And then it's going to it's going to display you know what what the what the user has chosen. So what you've inputted. And what, and then on, on the switch statements here, for the computer choice, it's going to display what the what the, what the computer has chosen. So using the switch statement here, it's 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 so using a switch statement, it's actually a lot, a lot more clean to use a switch statement over than than a, than an if else statement. 
uh, because the switch statement makes it makes it a lot more consistent. So after uh, so both after both choices had been revealed, it will determine the winner. So if the if the user choice is going to be equal than than the, than the computer choice. So let's say for example you have two scissors, uh, two rocks, and two papers. Then it's just going to be a tie. But then we've also got our we've got our else statement here of our use of our user choice here. So going back to if so if the user picks either the rock, and then the the computer the, the computer chooses. Uh, the, the scissors, then the, obviously the, the rock is the rock is going to win. If the user choice is two, and the computer choice is is one, so the user choice is two, and then the computer choice is the rock, then 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 the user will win. And but if the user choice is scissors, which is three, and the computer choice is two, then you'll win, and this is also valid for, for the for the computer for the computer as well. And then after the after you've after the, the game ends, the the the, the 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 game will ask whether you want to play again, and then the user will type in either either yes or no. So let's run through the game. So we've got welcome to rock paper scissors. Enter your new choice. Uh, let's go with let's go with rock. Uh, I chose rock. The computer chose the scissors. I win. Do I want to play again? Yes. Welcome to rock paper scissors. Enter in your choice again. I'm going to go with scissors this time. Uh, I chose scissors. The computer chose rock. The computer wins. Let's let's do it one more time. I'm going to choose paper this time. All right, I chose paper, and then the computer chose scissors, and then the computer wins. So, do I want to play again? No. Thanks for playing. Goodbye. And then the game, the game will exit. So, this is uh, a full breakdown of implementing the rock paper scissors game in C++. If, the, if this video has helped you out a lot, don't forget to smash that like button down below. And don't forget to click, to click on the red button down below to subscribe to the latest videos of the C++ Better Explained YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Are you still struggling learning how to program but you start to can't seem to get the fundamentals? Well it's time to finally change that forever because if you really want to get guided by me, I can show you how to learn the fundamentals of the C++ programming language. And if you want to get started today, Click on the link below to book a free 30 minute call with me and I'll be able to, get to have a phone call with you and go through the issues that you're having and the, and the problems that you're trying to solve and I'll be able to help you on the phone call and guide you on the best way to, to get started on learning the C++ programming language. And if you don't, and if you are still unsure, I still advise you to click on the link below and book that call today because I'll be able to pinpoint your issues and guide you in the right direction of where you want to go in terms of learning the C++ programming language.